Wow. Hey, everybody, welcome back to <laughs> Spark. I'm here with my boy, PD. PD, say what's up. What's going on? Hey, today we're talking about the trailer that just dropped for Godzilla Minus One. What the hell is it? What the hell is going on? I'm totally confused. Is it Monarch or is it Godzilla vs. One? Selector, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to have to try and inform me going forward. Please. Let's see. This is from Toho Studios. Um, Selector, I'm not seeing anything. No, oh, sorry. Hold on, don't say another word. Don't say it. I'm still putting it together. Well, I'm saying, so this is coming directly from the original studios from Godzilla, and this takes place like back after what? World War II. Was it period piece? Yes, period piece. Wait a second, does this look like the real Godzilla? <laughs> I don't know, man. I might have to see this one. Well, it, I might it, have to it, see it, this. It, it already dropped in Japan, you know. So hot, hot. I, I don't know about hot. I'm like, rooting for Godzilla to win. <laughs> Godzilla for the win. I'm fan dueling. I'm uh, what's that other thing? Uh, that Mason can do. I'm doing my best on Godzilla. It's the number one movie in Japan when it came out. It was number one movie on IMAX. I think it broke records. But here, here, let me get let me here's a problem I'm having. Okay. I don't see a problem. I see a lot of problems. I see no problem. So what do you say? No, I mean, if Godzilla was destroying them in the nineteen I thought first of all, I thought Godzilla came back in the nineteen fifty was it was showed up in the fifties or sixties. I didn't know he was as far back as forty five, but or forty six. Ah, okay. So Makes that's, sense with black and white. Yeah. So keep going. So at the end of World War II, that's it. So my thing is that, you know, we know. So they're saying that Godzilla was mutated by the atomic uh, nuclear test that was done in the Pacific, right? It was some old creature that was brought back and then enhanced with the nuclear power, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know that much history on Godzilla. Well, someone's saying that he was a Tyrannosaurus Rex and that, that, that somehow survived. And Yeah, I think that's what people, some people say. I'm not sure if he's something new, altogether new after they blew it up. Yeah. So my thing is here that, you know, you have the American one going forward. Why are we doing two different ones at the same time? Because back in the days, they always had two different ones. They took, the, they took this and said, no one's going to watch this movie with the dub and the titles. So we gotta put some white guys in there and then we'll just have the Asian people running and then we'll have the white guys selling you this movie. So it's like, we've always had to, it was usually the same movie, but same movie, but then they would just add some scenes in here. Now, just like in, which they needed to do back in the day when Godzilla versus the, the, the Seinfeld New York 
happened in 95. Remember that? Where they had all the fake New Yorkers? Hey, what do you like? Had all the, I'm walking here. Godzilla, I'm walking here. Nobody <laughs> talks about Matthew that now. Matthew, right? Matthew Broderick, how much, how more New York can you get? Matthew Broderick of all people and, um, and Hank Azaria, who played um, Abu in The Simpsons. Like, that's the group you want to go with. But um, and then they had, so they did a movie at the same time then, where Godzilla was a complete failure in the US, and then they did their own one. And then now they're doing it. So I'm all for it. And we get more Godzilla because the these new ones have been about like stories with me and you, like say, this is a Godzilla movie. It's like 90 minutes of us talking and walking around all these terrible areas and then Godzilla walking past us for 30 minutes. So if we can get some more Godzilla, I'm all for it. Dude, I'm just saying, well, this is this is in the past, so this doesn't work. But in the future, we they don't seem to be, they, they weren't able to kill them in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. What the heck do you think they're going to be able to kill them in the, in the 1940s? If it was up to me, I mean, by now, I mean, Godzilla has been sliced and diced and, and being served. You can't. And, uh, He's the sushi. top of the food chain. That's what that's what the Godzilla movies, the new ones did, that he's the top of the food chain. Oh, yes, he is. So yeah. you got to blow up. You got to blow up New York or Tokyo to destroy him at the same time. And at the same time, that's what they did. They showed you that and you're using your nuclear weapons. They can feed off of that stuff. So it's no point. That was they're tying into the connection to the nuclear weapon saying, you don't want to use these things because there's something greater than us. Oh, my gosh. All right. So I see you clearly like this. I am. I'm on the fence. I'm more like, I like more the Monarch um, that the new American films. Do we doing. have to watch Monarch then? I think, um, we didn't we watch it already at the con? We watched it at the con. Did we ever talk about it? No. So let's put on let's put on the the, the Godzilla that we if know. We're in Monarch. This episode is Monarch versus Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, give give us a little overview of what they what we did at the con, and then we'll. Yeah. So at the con, what happened is one of the things we did was watch Sony, not Sony, um, Apple TV. This is going to be instead of a movie, this is going to be a TV show, um, Monarch. And it basically delves into the, I guess, the beginnings of of um, Godzilla. They, they search, they find him, they find Godzilla, I think he's one of the first Titans. And that's what they call the monsters. And uh, it goes back and forth between um, the past, you know, 19, I think, I thought it was the 1960s, probably the 1940s, um, and what ha was happening in the future, you know, with Godzilla and stuff. I mean, so... The timeline of the current is what's happening, how we've seen Godzilla in the movies, the destruction he's caused in the the US based films. I don't know what to call that. The the monster rush, I guess is what they're calling it. And so what's what's he doing? His fight with the other Titans, his fight with um King Kong, all that stuff is occurring. And while you're there, you find out that the chief scientist, he has a daughter, right, in present time, and she um I guess they're trying to find out what's going on and why things happen. And in the past we're trying to figure out, you know, I think it's, it's his mother or the, the main protagonist in the future, her grandmother, where uh, how they're connected to the starting of the whole uh, monarch, the, 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 the company that, that's trying to, um, I guess, control the, the, the Titans, Godzilla and them all. So it's interesting, but let's get to it. Let's see what we got to talk about. Ready, set. Selector. In San Francisco. What did I tell you? Godzilla walking around. When the whole city was coming down, these guys were taking pictures, like people and getting bread. You think that your father was working for them? This like the Avengers safe. Initiative? Oh, What's modern? Like G.I. Joe and the Transformers? Monsters are an inescapable reality. Those files belong to us, and they are more important than you could possibly imagine. The 
this is really me and me and nightmares. Now you can choke down that monarch lie. What about your father disappearing? Or we can find out what really happened. Before it's too late. That's the past. But that seemed like the Godzilla 985. This world, it's not ours. Believe me. It's so much more vast than we could possibly imagine. These monsters and Monarch have taken everything from me. No more. They can't survive. You can't survive that. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. So they call Godzilla. They got him on the back phone. So th- these films have done almost two billion dollars in the MonsterVerse. We're talking about Godzilla, uh, Kong, Skull, three, Island. three of them. Godzilla, they've done four. Oh, million. then that's not that. This should Godzilla. be more than that. No, it's four. It's considered the monsters. They did Godzilla, God- Kong, Skull Island, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla versus Kong. They've come to almost two billion dollars. So it's like you know they they really oh, not two billion. Them. Okay, so that's like five hundred a million each. Yeah, around five hundred. The last one did the 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 King of the Monsters is the smallest one, but the 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 Godzilla versus Kong did almost five hundred million. But the number okay. one has been Skull Island, Kong Skull Island. But you know, look, I think it's very slick. The U.S. Is, has done a really good job of it. Uh, the Monarch tying it with an organization that does it, and, and that explains why they're continuing. We have the, the connection from the past to the current. You know, I mean that you have an organization trying to control them. That's why they're allowing the monsters to continue. Whereas with the Toho stuff, they haven't they haven't been able to control Godzilla in God knows how long. You know hey, I mean? I'm all for it. More well, Godzilla doing By this stuff. time, Godzilla should have been caught. No, no. It's a weapon. Godzilla is a favorite of kids. Kids get the Godzilla thing and not have the hero beat. They have Godzilla with the heroes. And that's what people first the Godzilla, the, no, no, let's, let's start over. Godzilla is with the, the heroes, but he first also destroying, yeah, like, totally. destroying, and I'm all for it. And he's like, Yo, I don't, we care. don't, we don't care when we go you into know, the Amazon and take all our stuff because we the top of the food chain. Godzilla comes, he's at the top of the food chain. No, it's the simple, predator, yes, and, and, and he's proven it, he, even though we know the fight that he had with Kong. Was clearly, clearly. Mm, here we go. Uh, you know, here we go. He has, he has atomic breath. He has the tail. You know, if Khan had some of that, he could have taken him out. Bah, 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 bah. Could have taken him. But you know, look, we're not holding any grudges here, bro. We're not holding on anything. But I think you know, I think they've been doing a decent job, and I think what Monarch is going to do is fill in some of the spaces between what happened when how they started and what's been going on how monarch has been able to be on top of the situation you know are they good are they is monarch a force for good mm. clearly no you don't know yet because we have kurt know. russell saying don't believe that crap that's going on there coming in there <laughs> and it's, a, it's interesting the character court russell is playing he's plays the the older version of himself in the, in the current in the future in the current in the current timeline right now and his younger is, is played by his son wyatt so you have the son playing the father, the son in the, in the, in the past, and the father in currently. And he don't look nothing like Kurt Russell when he was young. He don't look I'm just saying, like yo, it's, it's what, so that you're trying to say that's not his son? They need to do a DNA test? Yo, you wrong, Petey. You no, wrong. I didn't say that. You wrong, Prime I didn't Minister. Say that. You wrong. I didn't say that. Okay. I'm just saying. Holy Hunter and say, yo, this guy's kind of calling. I'm not going for out. the uh, O'Shea, O'Shea uh, <laughs> Jr. <laughs> So, um, you know, this story starts off because the protagonist we saw in the film, her father um, basically had two families, her family in San Francisco and another family in, in, um, in Japan. And so when he passes away, she goes to, to Japan to see what's going on and then discovers she has a brother. 
and then they discover his this whole thing with Monarch, and that's why they start going through and learning to pass. So it's it's interesting. So I think that's definitely a way to go. I'm not knocking the Toho, so we don't want to see no negative comments. You from are people. knocking the Toho. So Please don't saying. go, because you know we're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna shut you down. Now I'm joking. We're not gonna shut you down, but yeah. So it, out of the two, which one are you watching? Because I think they're dropping the Monarch. Um, Mine's on TV, so I can watch it. Just, I think I like some. Even though I didn't like some of the dynamics between the characters, I think I'm gonna be okay seeing the TV show. But I just get kind of tired of um, they're trying to have a love triangles and family triangles and all this other stuff. And this is what people had issue with when they started seeing the new um, Godzilla, because it was a lot of the human stuff. But they were like, that keeps your cost down so you can do a bunch of things. So, but the, to the when they're going back, they will do you more Godzilla all the time. You get a slow build and then Godzilla whacking the city <laughs> pimp slapping the city that's right and it's like you know most people you know like they created something they went through something terrible and then they came up with something that would still do something terrible to <laughs> town but slowly as kids looked at it kids look at it as a singular character they felt for the monster and of course Godzilla became a hero. So who knows if this Godzilla becomes a hero just like he did? Because they were the ones that kind of made him into the hero. Like he loses in the fight against Kong in the old movies, in the American one. In the in the, well, the Japanese one, he wins. So, you know, it's like they are the ones that kind of made him into the hero. And the American audience started liking the hero ones. And we were all, all I mean, kids still kind of get caught up. I think when kids used to be all connected to like dinosaurs, because kids, you know, you always hear kids want to say that's the first thing they learn, word they learn, big word is they want to be a paleontologist type of thing. That's where a lot of comic artists, they go in and they say, I want to be a paleontologist because they were so into dinosaurs. So Godzilla kind of feeds that thing. So he became a positive character. Minus one, I don't know which one is leaving. So who knows? You got it's giving you some story that we need to find out. So I'm I'm all for both, but I'm I'm more for Godzilla. Well, the the U.S. one has Godzilla as a good guy. They call for some help, and somehow they get <laughs> Godzilla has the earbuds. I like to always go to the Godzilla commercial where Godzilla is at the the beach party, and he's like the cool guy in the group. And that's one of the things that Godzilla just works. So, I mean, I've watched a lot of Godzilla. I liked them over the years. I even watched the, the 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 animated Godzilla they had a couple of years ago. I think it was a that nice was kind of nutty. It just like <laughs> it was kind of nutty, to be like, okay, this kind of doesn't. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Um, you still watch it, so it's like it's like you're watching it and you're taking a car and it's just going straight over that hill, <laughs> going down that. Overpass, you're like, okay. Oh, so we gotta There's watch this. That, we gotta end this. We keep going, but I'm gonna end this on this. Uh, right, but it seems that, the, thing. that the producer of the Monteverse, the Legendary Pictures, um, had a contract with Toho that they could not produce uh, um, Godzilla until after 2020 or something like that. And so that's why, you know, the Monsterverse has been like just kicking steam the last couple of years. Mm. So let me yeah, I mean, one last gonna, thing before we go. No, we want to see. Sorry, what are you gonna say? Before we go, we gotta watch this one last Godzilla thing. Another Godzilla thing? Yeah, it's gonna be one last Godzilla thing. Don't try to stop me. Stop. We want to see. Here we go. We're almost there. If this one doesn't get copyright banned, I don't know what. You ready for the real Godzilla? Okay, let's see this real Godzilla. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Godzilla's a man! Godzilla's actually pretty cool. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs>
Snickers satisfied. She's the man. Theaters May 16th. And then the new one, the new highlight in the new Godzilla. I don't know if that was the Matthew Broderick one, but I like to see the real one from time to time. So, Okay. So, yeah, go check out both Godzilla products, the one on Apple TV and the Toho um, studio, the original creators of Godzilla on the film. Um, Spinarak? Out.